Well, hello! Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined with hubby... Dirty Santa. <laughs> and we are doing antlers today. Though, for some reason, can't really can get them, them in the screen. But, even more, you can't see my light-up my light up shirt. It's kind of a bummer. You, know, you can see some of it. Can, how? Well, there's a light up here that you can see. Well, so what we're going to do today is detailing the, the pine bow. So that I have to figure out a way, or in my mind, I've never done this before, so this is going to be new for all of us. Um, in my mind, I want to be able to do a dark that when I drag up goes to light, and I only want to do one mark, meaning I don't want to go back over it again and again. So we're going to zoom in here. Now you can see my light because I moved the camera. Alrighty. So I think we're going to start right here on the doggy. I was able to sit down and block in more stuff, which was a big deal for me after being sick. Still, so, this you, is, did huh? Did you already say hi to everybody? I didn't. Hi, Gila, Greg, David, Amy. Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> um, Let's see here. That's it. That's so it. Far. Yep. So, hmm, I've been trying to think about which pin I thought would work the best. Some of the bow, some of the needles are thicker than others. What I may have to do is switch in between pins, meaning, let's see here, we use the extra large on some of the bigger ones. And the reason I only want to do one stroke is I don't want you to see all the strokes that it takes. It, how to explain it? Kind of an economy of strokes thing where less is better sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going for. Whether I achieve it or not will be a different story. So I think we are going to start with. Hmm. Actually, this is the medium spoon shader. It actually might work better. Maybe. What I will do is plug in them both. Alrighty. So how is everyone doing? So medium spoon shader. Oh. I'm going to go down to four. My chat froze again because it looks like Burl was here. Hey, Spence. Hey, yeah. Burl. Yep. Oh, and I have my hot cocoa. Today we have owl. Today we have owl. Mm. Yum, yum, and yum. I have my Santa butt. This way, this way. Oh, I, hold on, I'll spill it. This way. There you go. Yours is from Alana. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am on four. That might actually. I'm not mm. trying to be a dirty Santa. <laughs> I am actually pretty much feeling it right now because I was up late last night for mm. no good reason. Other than video games. Oh, um, yes. One video game. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. So this is the medium spoon shader. And I'm going to try to go... Um, let's see here. We went darker in the middle because that's where the um, stem would be. The bows are growing... The needles are growing off of. So I'm going to go down. Ah! Why am I shaky? Even four might be too dark. Well, I screwed that up. I saw that here. Let's do three and a half. All right. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. And cool down for a sec. And it happens. And I'll just work it in. If I do a couple other sporadic, this uh, tone, you'll never know that it was an accident. Gotcha. You guys will know because I told you. Yeah. Turn your board here. I can actually go closer. The girl's fingers are cold. She's in. She was in the garage sanding. I can't sand yet. Alrighty. Let's try it again. So I bumped down to three and a half. Remember, each pin burns differently depending on how much 
metal is in one area. It's still too dark. Hmm. You see, this would be a lighter burn if I was using the ball tip. Right, let's go down to three. Let's see here. Yeah, this is much darker than I want all of them to be. There we go. Camera is out of my face. Darker at the base. These for these top ones and draw up. Alrighty, you know what? We are going to try. What pen? Sometimes I have to go through and work out which pen I want to use. Completely normal. If you have less pens, it makes the job a little easier actually. So I'm going to let's see here. Because even though the tip may look big, it's the surface that touches down that may not be big. Mm. So this is the large spoon. Actually, I might have a little bit more control with this one. And see, this is the same. This is bigger than the extra large ball tip, um, metal-wise, but because of how it's made, <coughs> much thinner and heats up quicker. But I may need more heat because it's a bigger pen. Yeah. One degree where David is. It, it just hit 32 outside. Yeah. Yeah. There's still ice on the road. And it's 50 and raining in New Jersey, where Greg is. Let's see here. Greg's yelling 18SM. I don't know why. He probably wants me to try the 18S on this. Uh, Sometimes you got to use other pens, especially if you got them. So they're not sitting here feeling unloved. She doesn't love me. David says, too much eggnog. I haven't had any yet. I've had one, but I regret it. You weren't supposed to have any. And that is why I regret it. Because I was still too sick. <sighs> I told you. It had a lasting effect on my sinuses for like over a day. I told you. I know. He told him. I put, I put whiskey in it. <laughs> Ooh, whiskey will make it all better. Yeah, and I put too much whiskey in it because it tastes like pine needles. That's not good. How can you... Where do you get pine needles from whiskey? I, well, I'm sick, so that's what it tastes like. Oh. Um, okay. He did this without my knowledge. 54 in Maine for Sharon. Wow, that's warm. David says, I had too much. Big knock. Alrighty. Wait, see. do you have the alcoholic? An eggnog or non-alcoholic because had it having too much can have different ramifications in those two scenarios. I got the little bit of rum we have left in my hot cuckoo. Mm. Spence over the fence says 39 in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, question. In two weeks, the live is on Tuesday. Our regular live is on Christmas Eve. Yep. How many people would like us to go live on Christmas Eve? Not everybody has family or place to go, and I didn't know if you guys wanted to hang out. Which is fine. Because yes, it's we're fine. here. We actually we don't have we don't have plans or anything. So if you wanna, I don't know when the kids. If are you coming. wanna spend <coughs> Christmas Eve Eve with us for an hour for an hour. I just feel like I'm copying everything else that you're saying now. <laughs> then let us know. Yeah, and we will happily do it. All right, so I switched over to the 18S. And that is what Sharon just asked. What is the number of that spoon shader? <laughs> uh, oh, of the spoon shaders? Ooh, I don't know what the numbers are. It was an extra large on the last one. I... He did get those finally listed on the website. Um, trying to think. So, let's see. Amy Hess says 44 in rainy in West Virginia. Barrel says negative 3 degrees Celsius, which means that it's like 28, I think. 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So close to us. Yeah, it's close to freezing. 
Celsius makes more difference. Or makes more difference. <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> Expect more of this. He went to bed at four this morning. Yep. I was already asleep in my upright vampiric position. Yes. Yes, you were. It's a little freaky. Did was it? Yeah, really? because I sleep on my side, and you're I like, can't. yeah, because you're like, you, I you, need to breathe. You you sleep, kind of like you come in, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's only I'm only sitting up <coughs> in order to actually get some sleep because if I lay down, I cough too much, and then nobody gets any no, sleep. And that's a, one of the things that was going on with this particular brand of sickness is it. For whatever reason, laying down horizontally is murder. <laughs> um, Sheila says, wow, okay. So, David says, no, relax. But Beryl says, I can hang out. Sheila says, I'm fine with Christmas Eve. David says, Greg, put bur bourbon in it. It will taste better. Oh, eggnog. Um, <laughs> Spence says, if you're up to it, I'll be here. Well, I know that... Sometimes you just need to hang out with your friends. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be on camera. Why wasn't I on a camera? I don't know. Let's scoot you I over. I was reading the, chat. This way. I was doing my job. Let's scoot you over this way. That way if I... <coughs> move uh, the board open. Actually, the 18S is working the best. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Lee Walls says, hey, all. It's hey, 40, 47 and raining in East Tennessee. It's supposed to be 27 by bedtime. You know, I used to live in Tennessee, and the one thing that I'll never forget is because where I come from, we don't have ice storms in that way. And when I lived them. in uh, Tennessee, in Kentucky, because I lived right on the border, um, we'd have those ice storms, and those were crazy. I'd never seen anything mm -hmm. like that. I'm from Alaska, you know. They come out, and everything's coated in yep. an inch of ice. Like, what? I was five, and this has always been a wonderful memory for me. I remember being five, we had just moved to Dallas, and it was Christmas time, and for some reason we had to leave the house. What? I'm, li I'm listening. Oh. <laughs> for some reason, I, I don't know why, I don't know if Dad just wanted to go for a drive, or what, but we had had an ice storm the night before, and there was just crystals hanging off of everything, and it was just so beautiful. And as, as a little kid, I was all excited about it. I'm guessing driving was probably horrific. But we, we, we counted that as a white Christmas. Because it was Christmas morning. Gotcha. And it just looks so beautiful. The trees, because all the leaves are gone, so all the bare branches had a good inch coating of ice on it, and they're hanging down. And... It was still cloudy. Did you feel like a princess in a magical castle? I did. I did. That's why with that movie, I so get her. Because it was very similar to that. I got it. Yeah. Uh, that is definitely a good memory. Greg says, I'll try and join if you have it. So, looks like we're broadcasting. Okay. Well, let's see. We're going to figure out what we're going to do. I don't know if I want to work on this guy. Hopefully, I'd like to be done with this guy. And I, but and I'm with the broad that put the broad in broadcasting. <laughs> yes, you are. You're my broad, Nat. No. No. I'm very sad. I have to say things like that. So what I'm trying to do is drag, hit the bottom, and drag up so that I have a lighter top, darker bottom, closer to where it would kind of curve, and hit the stem. Slow down at the bottom, speed up at the top, and just draw it up. It's okay if they cross over because they are not symmetrical. And I can always go back and add some green. I haven't decided <coughs> what kind of colors I'm adding. I would like to color these two balls and maybe the ribbons. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking glitter on these two. And maybe a little bit of, let me find it real quick. Let me find it. There's some right here. And then I can show them. Look, what? look. Smiling is my favorite. 
just watched See? that last night. I'm we sure, did. That's... I'm sure Beryl doesn't care. Bro, you <laughs> care, do you? <laughs> but I wanted to show my ugly sweater. Now i got to get back in my chair. Back in chair. Mm. Oh, and last Friday we had a big scare for Thursday night. Oh, with men? Yeah. We had to rush Moon into the doctor's Friday morning. We thought she had a stroke. You'll not hear any <coughs> seal barking. He, he has not barked since Thursday morning. Yeah. Um, he has not a stroke. Did not have a stroke, thank goodness. Old dog vestibular disease. So second dog who has it. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. This isn't the color, but I'm thinking of using some Perlex to dust either on the ribbon or on the uh, Christmas ornaments. Michael Ann says hi there. Hey, Michael Ann. And Beryl says no, I don't like Elf. I didn't like it when it first came out. I really didn't. It took me a good six or seven years. And then I also was in a better place. Mm. And you know how sometimes if you're in a bad place, funny movies just have a negative response for you. I, I know. And that's like And then you go back and watch it when you're in a good place and you're like, What the heck? Like, this was funny. There's been so many movies since we yep. got together that I'm like, I remember watching this, but I don't remember this movie. Yep. So I say give it time. Just watch it as in with no expectations and oh. it's always funnier. I feel like Barrel is gonna be like not ever. Nope. I know. But uh, Troy, he doesn't like Will Ferrell either. No, he doesn't. And that's why I feel. And like, I'd make him watch it. I feel like that's a polarizing element. Like some people mm. just don't like certain, certain people. people. I'm not a big uh, Jim Carrey fan. Yeah. I mean, he's okay. I liked him in Liar Liar, but um, even on, in Living Color, I was in high school for In Living Color, and the fire fireman guy oh, that he fire did. Marshall Bell? Oh, uh, he just annoyed me. Really? Oh, I liked him. Yes, annoyed me. Because I was me. a safety guy in the, in the army, so. But it's how he acted that bothered me. Oh. Liar, liar, I liked. Because it was a good lesson on being truthful. <coughs> so I'm just trying to hit the bottom of these. I thought he was funny in Yes, Ma'am. Oh my God, she's barked. <gasps> that is the first bark that we have heard. He knows we're streaming. He always knows. I need to go check on her. She can get outside. <coughs> yeah, okay. She's okay. Let her let her tushy get up because. David says he's he's working in a box for kids in it. What are you doing putting kids in a box, David? You never let put the kids, kids in the box. out of the box. Let them what be you're themselves. What you doing is wrong. <laughs> let them be themselves. So just trying to do one or two strokes. I know I'm having to do a couple, but you know what? I'm going to be okay with this. So I'll get the main ones in and then I'll erase and then kind of fill in on some areas. If I can get this dark enough, like with the cookie, I think it'll be a good balance. Yeah. And the dog, he, he, the puppy, he's just blocked in. He is not finished. Mm. I just have him blocked in. So let's try is doing this. Relax, to breathe. Lee Wall says that ice is good if you don't have to drive on it. Well, at five, I didn't have to drive on it. <laughs> Unless you got a snow machine, and then it's awesome. Is it? You can do tricks. Never, yeah. never played on a snow machine. Because we, we, one of the things I, I used to do is get going about thirty miles an hour. Speed demon here. And get on a nice, nice bit of sheet ice that was. Um, you know, nice and smooth, and then uh, cut to one side. One of the things we used to practice just for fun as kids is, is doing a 360 and coming out of it. And Like, if you can keep your forward momentum and do the 360 on the ice, you were cool. So, Well, we were cool. I remember in middle school, um, we had a snowstorm. And when I mean snowstorm, maybe two inches of snow. Ah. <laughs> For us, it was a snowstorm. School, we shut down. Dad didn't have to go to work. We didn't have a sled. And so Dad found this piece of metal in the garage that had curled up sides or straight up and down sides. Yeah. So he tied a rope through the holes. 
and tried to drag us around the yard. We tried to get him to attack it to the ropes to the back of the blazer and pull us, but he just wouldn't have none of that. You know, as a safety professional, I can say that, that was a good call on your dad's part. <laughs> Dad was quite you know, safe. I, I was uh, out in Iraq <laughs> in our one of our platoons. As a safety guy, I I hear the like all this. I hear motor sounds and like gravel, and I hear all the all they say, "Woo, faster, woo!" And, I wasn't there. And these guys have a piece of metal hooked with ropes, and they're doing donuts <laughs> in a Humvee. I can picture that. And I'm because that's what we wanted Dad to do. Yeah, and and I was like. Everything, everything that I I stand for as a safety professional is... Though, should I point out that when I wanted it, I was 13? Yeah. And how old were the guys who were doing it? Oh, they were all adults, well over 20, some in their (laughs) 30s. You know, and I think that... Not saying nothing. But I realized that I was out of my depth as far as, like, sometimes you just can't win. And I was like, well, I'm going to walk away from this one because... If I come in and say, you guys stop that. Stop your having fun right now. You'd be amber. You know, I, I'd be reviled, which was bad enough being safety guy. Yeah. You, so I walked away. Anybody get hurt? No, not that I'm aware Luckily. of. Luckily. Although. They probably wouldn't have told you. In retrospect, like I saw videos of all kinds of things happening when they were fooling around with stuff, with gunpowder and stuff. Oh. One of my friends lit his face on fire by accident. And you were a safety guy when that happened? Yeah, I didn't know about it, though. Oh. Yeah, they kept it They kept it. Under Don't tell rats. Sergeant O. Don't. Yeah, and that was the thing. Like, sometimes I actually heard it. Like, hey, stop, stop doing it. He's coming. Um, yeah. no, that's that's fine. no fun. Well, no, because, like, writing the reports. Like, I was a good safety guy, but, but sometimes, you know, there's just so much. And so sometimes I would just be loud. Like, safety guy coming through. <laughs> coming through. Going to be there in a minute. And I hear, like, scrambling. Like... Get out, get out. Um, yeah, there's a lot. No, what I meant by that's like no different than being the hall monitor at school. It is exactly like that. Getting everybody in trouble. Oh, yeah. That's no fun. One of our uh, warrant officers broke his leg in between deployments, jumping on a trampoline, and I had to write a safety report on it. And you're required to do like uh, an assessment of like what not to do in the future or how to improve this. And I couldn't think of anything except for don't jump chief on. should not jump on trampolines <laughs> in the future. <laughs> the commander called me in the start number and we can't tell the chief what not to do. I was like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> he broke his leg jumping on a trampoline. <laughs> what do you want me to write? Well, Got uh, memories. Okay. So this is filling in pretty quickly. It is. I'm probably not going to put any green. I'll just keep um, going in and putting some darker areas in so the lighter areas pop out. <coughs> so that you can see where some of them separate. And then we will move over. And I'm just blocking in. But you can see where some of these... Mm. really could I want to erase I want to see hmm. you know, we can erase here <laughs> as far as the kids in the box David said they just climbed in what to do? <laughs> get a piece of candy and lure them out tell them Santa saw let's not talk about kids and luring I know I know I know I <laughs> know and I guess I can't say seal them up either. No. Can't win on this one. No. You guys started it. I'm sure blame it on chat. Let's see here. Needs more filling in. But I actually kind of like it being more... <coughs> it's more artistic than exact. If you like it like that, then do that. Because sometimes that's a thing to do. Yeah. Right now I'm looking at the camera because looking at it in the camera looks a bit different, so I'm just trying to... There, There's a lot that I do that's stylistic mm-hmm. in my paintings. It's like not naturalistic. What was that? I think that was the A-girl there. I think. 
Because everything else is running. I thought I heard a computer. Yeah. So. The A girl is hooked up to that speaker. A girl? I don't want to say her name. Dot. Oh, because when you say A girl, you mean Amber. No, not That's in this case. Okay. Not in this case. Oh. Okay. Because I don't want to say her name and have her activate. That's why. So I'm going to get some pine needles in here. And that will help me balance out the puppy dog later. Alright. Again, turning the board in the direction. Ah. <laughs> From bottom to top. What? The wall says take a picture of kids in box and put on the holiday cards. Winner. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm actually, because I kind of erased, I'm actually making them up as I go. Kind of filling them in. But this dark is going to help balance things out. That's why they're important. Though I do regret on this pattern, I probably should have used Holly. <coughs> Excuse me. Holly would have been easier and quicker. And... I will keep that in mind for next time. Because I don't want to sit and fix the pattern. David, we know that you're burning a picture of four kids in a box. Leave <laughs> David alone! <laughs> Uh-oh, is he feeling a little self-conscious? I, I think he might be. Apologies, David. No, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. I don't like making people feel bad. I can make people feel bad. I just don't like it. Alrighty. Got some up here, and then this is where looking in the color, looking at the color photo, helps more because you can see the detail better. You can see where things separate, so the tones being the same color. But really, I just need to do. Strokes all over the place. Like this. Overlapping. Some in the back that are a little darker. Let's see here. Oops. Is that the ball? Huh? Well, I'm trying to figure out because... No, nope, no, nope. that is these guys. I wanted to make sure I didn't. Now, some of them will be in shadow because they're overlapped. The light's not hitting them. So let's get those in. Just tapping them down and filling in the area. Excuse me. Still trying to get rid of this cough. Some are longer than others. Some are straight. Some are curved. Actually, no, they're all curved. No. I'm struggling. No. I'm struggling. No! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Help, chat! Help! I'm just waking him up. Makes me feel like I'm boring when you fall asleep. It's ah! not, it's, Bounce in the camera. It's Bounce not, in the camera. See what you did? You did it. I did the nothing. Is, you did it. Alrighty. I'm not Let's tired just, like, because are you boring. You're not boring. No, you decided to stay on Destiny till four this morning. Yeah. <coughs> and that's why. What'd you do? Let's try I do think I need to get a haircut. Oh, I thought that's what you're going to do. I think so. Because sometimes I lean the other way. Mm. But I have to tell myself, it'll grow back. <coughs> Alright, so some things in here are going to be darker because of our balls. Really? Balls make things darker. Really? My balls, right there, right there, right there. I already burned one ball. I got two more to burn. I got five balls here, and none of them are yours. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta burn the balls. 
Let's stop saying that. Burn the balls. Oh, God. Burn the balls. No, here, just turn back around. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> this day was a pine for now. Meryl says, can anyone ever have too many fonts? What? <sighs> too many. Oh, for... The, uh, mm. No, you can never have too many. David says, I still love the squirrel. Oh, thank you. I was... I put more of them in. I still need to detail things out more and darken it. But I don't mind him. I'm trying not to burn over my ribbon because none of the pine is actually going over the ribbon. So I have to be careful with that. And the ribbon, I really want to make it look. In fact, if you want, I can do a little bit of the ribbon to have the light. Make it where it looks highlighted. Definitely need more. Yeah, I'm just hitting everything. No, I'm reading chat. I saw you. I saw you. I saw your eyes go. I'm tired. I have eyes in the back of I'm my, tired, my antlers. I'm tired, but I will still use my kung fu. That was much easier. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm scratching. Stop distracting. Scratching your back. Okay. Stop distracting. Lana goes artist here. Hey, Lana. Hey. I think <coughs> for Christmas Eve, I'll be able um, to work on the ornaments we got. One of the ornaments Jason's going to paint. What's that mean? Well, I don't want to work on this guy for New Year's Eve because I kind of just want to be able to relax and not think too much. I just want to be able to do, which like never happens because mm -hmm. I can't do that. I'm going to try. Um, over there in my basket are all the, in the front there are all the ornaments. You want me to go get them? Please. Okay. Please, please. Do my job. Got to keep you awake somehow. Mm -hmm. Yes, to keep you awake. <coughs> so let's burn. I think we can get this off. Ornament day. Okay, I'll just put them over here. <coughs> All right, so we have two kinds of ornaments. We I've shown you the the balls, but I just got the snow globes. So. Good Lord, Beryl, no. What? She says you can send send you her cattle prod to wake me up. No, Beryl. I am trained in zapping. Hey, Joe. Yeah. <coughs> Hubcap says no. No. Are you trained in zapping? Um, Joe K says I'll be popping in and out of here. I want to make sure I gave you a thumbs up. Thank you. Nice, beautiful work. Robin Short is here. Hey, Robin. Hi, all. And David says everyone is kung fu fighting. Look, I can burn in kung fu. Yeah, I can reach out and do black tiger claw. I shall do this is not what puppy drool. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not what they signed up for. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what they're getting. <laughs> How much, uh, what did you put in there? Rum? Rum. How much pirate cocoa have you had? Have I had? Because I only put a shot. I haven't had that much. What's See? your definition of a shot? It's a shot cup. Glass. Wow, it's still warm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's look at, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the top of this bow. <coughs> that way I can erase. Oh, that's a three foot one for easy reach. No barrel. No. <laughs> no cattle prod. Mm, I'm trained. I'm awake. What? I can be safe with it. I'm trained. I don't know. No. Zzz, zzz, no. Zzz. 
Do your job. I am. No. <coughs> My job is to bug you. Uh, really? Well, you're doing fantastic at it. Stellar. Yeah, it's time for you to do my evaluation. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'll write you up a sterling report. Valerie was extremely annoying at all times. <laughs> so I'm on three, and I'm trying. I'm using the full foot of this pen and dragging down, trying to keep it more of a smooth burn. So I use this pen to get a smooth burn and to get the more textured burn. <coughs> Excuse me. So it goes darker here. But see, this is where we have a little bit of an issue because it looks like these pine needles are going to have to go darker in order for it to not blend in with the ribbon. So let's just block this in. In fact, this part is darker. We're just going to block it in because we can always come back and adjust. Remember, it's easier to go darker than it is to lighten up. Gotcha. What are you doing? Nothing. You're like clicking on things. Um, no. Like you do. I was talking to Bernadette. She was wanted to take a look at what you're doing. Ah, haven't seen her in a while. She's been MIA for a while. Alrighty, so let's get, because it's away from the light, need to get that darker area on the bow in order to have the feeling of it turning. And then as we go, when it gets closer to the light, it gets lighter. <coughs> hey, hmm? you, get your, you said you're going to get some color in your hair. Can, can, you, can you do that color? <laughs> no. No? It'll be closer to the darker one, not the orange. Really? Yes. He wants me to look like Bernadette. That's, that's not weird. He wants me to look like Bernadette. Hmm? Oh! Well, I'm looking at a color kind of... More, it's this color with purple in it. Look, 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 look. I see. What are you doing? <laughs> that looked bad. It did. It really did. <laughs> Don't pull her hair. She's on salary, you know. Uh, it's part of her contract. Oh, really? Yup. Oh. Yeah, part of her contract. Oh, right. Somebody else is sharing the abuse. Hey. Huh? What? I heard that. Yeah. That's because I said it. It's good. I said it loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just trying to get this line. Because as a ribbon turns, we do get some... <coughs> excuse me. We do get less of a blur and more of a... Um, how to put this? It's more detailed than blur, mm. but that still isn't the right way to put it. So that still needs to go darker. Okay. This part is lighter because that's where the light's hitting. So let's darken up this here and that will make that lighter. So it needs to be darker than the paw. And we also have, so right here, Got to pay attention to where the the where things turn, where they bend towards the light or away from the light, because right here, and if I'm looking at the sepia photo, Michael Ann has to go. Bye, Michael Ann. Thank you for coming. Let's make this bigger so you can see better. We shall move it here, and then we shall do that. All right, so. We're Working on the ribbon, and I'm, so looking at the sepia right here, you can see the darker, I, so I'm going to have to go darker on the ribbon on some of the edges 
but then really dark on the pine bow to make everything separated. And then I'm going to have to go darker on the puppy dog right here in order for everything to feel balanced. So let's go ahead. I think what we're going to do is <coughs> no, I don't want the, palm, the pine bow too dark, but we do need Actually, I think the dark needs to be more in here. So we'll do that. Not all dark. <coughs> and then looking where the ribbons cross, we got shadow here. So let's get that in there. Okay, tighten it up a little bit. Okay. We have a little bit the uh, dark from the bend. So we'll get that in there. Which means I have to get this. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. <coughs> yeah, just, yeah. Which means I need to get this side where the bend happens even darker. And see, then this is the balancing act of going back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, so you get it the way you want it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Greg says he found cool uh, Christmas burnables at a dollar store for one dollar. For what? Uh, I think like ornaments and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, the wood? Mm hmm Now you gotta be careful with that because you don't know what kind of wood it is. Yeah, but for a dollar. For a dollar. Take the risk. If anything, you can paint them. Yeah. Alright, so. The curve. I don't know how well they would do on burning, but you could definitely paint them. That way you didn't waste money or time. Yeah. And I know he has some paint. I used to, because that was life, I used to try to find all the cheapest wood possible thinking that in the end that would be a good thing because we buy our burner in general most people buy at one time you don't have that supply to constantly like paint or a colored pencil or something you don't have to constantly restock if you don't want to as long as you take care of your tools new restocking is necessary so that investment is done for the most part um let's see here sandpaper graphite paper erasers those all last for a while so you don't have to worry about spending money there but you're you're just like if you're painting or you're drawing watercolors whatever you're doing your surface is just as important, if not more important, than your tools. Good point. Uh, Beryl, wants, Beryl wants to know if I'm going to paint one of the ornaments. Will it be on camera? If it's on camera, that means we're not on camera, so it's your guys' call. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to look, look at us, totally fine. Because um, I don't have, a, one, I don't have a third camera, and two, I think you need another software in order to run more than two cameras. And I don't know how to do it because we don't have it. So totally up to you guys. We can either be on camera or be off camera. But Jason's painting. I don't even know what he's painting. Do you know what you're painting? Mm -mm. Do you know which one you're painting? No, I didn't know I was getting one. Yes, you can have one if you want one. Well, uh, if you want one, you can have one. Okay. I'll probably do. I'll probably do one of these. So. One of the round. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, dokie. In fact, that's ours. Ooh. You do ours. Or I could do. This. I might actually. Ooh, I got some ideas now. You got some ideas. I got some ideas. 
David says, next year I'm going to buy a better burner. Don't know which one to get. Optima. I was going to say, that's a weird question to ask <laughs> in this channel. That's only because I've spent several arms and several legs. I'm off. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you have. Hey, you knew about every single one. But I didn't agree to this. <laughs> okay, but I had I could only give up one arm, so you have had to give up the other. Sorry. Sorry. Definitely the Optima. There is a big difference. I'm getting so many videos I need to finish. Yeah. <sighs> getting sick really because I was starting to work more. <coughs> And going from one project to the next and then getting sick. <coughs> not only not being able to work on the projects that had already started, it also kind of. I gotta get my flow back going. Yep. Yeah. So the channel's burning, drying with fire, aka the cool kid, the Optima Club. Oh, is that what we're called? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my Greg, Greg my has head. to get going. Hi Greg. David says uh, tips or pens. It's pens. It's only pens. But they have tips on them. Yes. <laughs> Come with tips. <coughs> you don't. Um, interchangeable tips are less stable than fixed tip. So you actually spend more money on replacing uh, interchangeable tips because the connections are no longer made well with your burner and so in the end you're spending more money and the pins are also more likely to burn out on interchangeable especially one particular brand that I always get a thumbs down on videos if I mention the brand. Cause nobody likes me talking about it because I'm honest. <coughs> Apparently Beryl is making treasure boxes for all the grandkids. Oh, that's cool. Had to buy more wood because the wood guy miscalculated. He cut all the wood and had some spare wood that I cut up. But you already had a lot of wood. Oh my god. And she says an hour later, her son phones says, two more kids for Christmas dinner. Could I make them boxes? That's what happens when you're an artist and the family finds out about it. Yep. That's exactly what happens. Alright, let's get some erasing done. So now I can see... That's why my family thinks that I play piano in a brothel. <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm a painted woman? No! Wow, you took that in a completely different direction. <laughs> that was just me hiding <laughs> the artist. You just inferred your own thing into that. <laughs> because if you turn around, there. flipped it over on me, coming right back like, at you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm so exhausted. So so exhausted. Burl right. says she's got a, a pen that has interchangeable tips, and it doesn't heat anymore. Nope. Because the connection within those pins starts degrading. And actually, a lot of the time, very quickly. Um, and so you just end up buying more, pin, uh, more pins and tips, trying to figure it out. But had you gone with a fixed tip in the first place, <coughs> definitely less likely and that stuff happening. What's interesting is that this is stuff that you weren't, knowledgeable on years ago nope. but now you are very knowledgeable on it because over fifteen hundred dollars later i've gone through most of the burners so i'm saying it was an arm and a couple well, a couple arms it's back <laughs> couple arms a few legs That's also in the group, David. Um, I have my wood burner journey. It's a story. I, true story. It is a nonfiction of me trying to find the best wood burner oh, yeah. and why I had to start in the first place. True. Yeah. 
because I got so much bad information from the internet. Who knew? The internet would give you bad information. I, I never heard that. If it's on the internet, it must be true. Well, that's what I get for thinking. In this case, why would anybody lie about a burner? I found out the hard way. That's how I ended up with my razor tip and burn master. All within a month of each other. Because of lies. Which I have talked to one company about. Specifically. And they were supposed to be making changes on their claim. I never noticed if they have. Alright. Need some darks in here. We need some lights. Get some texture in here. Because it's not like you can really see too much. So we're just going to kind of fill it in so it doesn't look or feel bare. And this is a darker, let's see here. This is a, <coughs> it's the same, for the most part, it's the same value as the ribbon. So. David has to go. Bye, David. Daryl says, hope we didn't scare you off. <laughs> ah, David's fine. David's fine. Was she talking about RT? RT, no. Mm. Alright. How much longer so, are we running? Well, if people have any questions, let's start getting them rolled in. Um, as I'm... Five minutes at the top of the hour. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm going to pull in. So this still needs to really be filled out at least where any chance the ribbon looks nice thank y'all where any areas touch where the stem is that's where i really need to fill in i'm going to actually bump up my heat to a little past four just so i can do it quickly while we're waiting on questions or comments and don't forget if you're new and you just found us we do lives every tuesday 11 a.m arizona time don't forget to hit the subscribe button we are wild and crazy toasties okay i think the alcohol did it. <laughs> Alcohol's kicking. <laughs> well, the crazy toasties. Oh my god, the rum is in effect. No, I guess I'm a good mood. For now. For now, was that a threat? <laughs> I'm in a good mood. For now. <laughs> oh, I guess I better watch myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is there. Bring the doggy fur down. The main thing I want is that dark. And see, oh, these go like this and curve up. So I'm going back over. Don't forget to hit the like button, please. YouTube is definitely being buttheads. True that. <sighs> definitely being buttheads. <laughs> Spence says, ha ha for now. Oh, uh, yes, for now. Exactly. Uh, Burl says looking good, or looking great, actually. Yeah. I would have never thought to use 18S for pine needles. Yep. Well, something new every day, right? Always try to use the pin that will allow you to do exactly what you want to do with the least amount of work. <coughs> so. Which is really the point of having different pins. Otherwise, it is. you could just use one. And Yes, I could. In fact, this pin... I have used it now on the pine needles, the dog. I've used this pin on actually every part that's burned. Every part I've used this pin. Um, sometimes I've switched to the 18M because it's thinner on its edge. And it heats a little differently, so I've used it in some of the areas. But for the most part, this piece, 
this time around has mainly been burned. The ribbon, everything has mainly been burned with the 18S. Thank you for mentioning that because I yeah. probably should point that out that you don't need every pen. And, you know. Some people have full set syndrome and so they want all the pins. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I've been really good. It's because you have all the pins. <laughs> no, I don't have the pins. I do not have all the pins. Really? There's some No, I don't. I have. 23 there, of the pins. What, are there some experimental ones that are in testing that are not available no. yet? No, no, no. I'd have those already. Because oh. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd be the one testing them. Yeah. No. It's just some of them are meant for carvers. Ah. Wood carvers and, and for flat work, they wouldn't necessarily work the best. I understand. That's why you have to watch. It's one of the things I didn't like about buying other wood burners and kits because they would put the kit, the kit together and tell you which pins or tips you were getting. And most of those I never used. So I would always find myself having to buy the ball tips, the um, some of the shaders, spoon shaders or otherwise, <coughs> because it always came with pins that or tips that I just did not like. So I was really surprised when I found Optima and you get to pick it. That way you're getting exactly what you need, not what they want to sell because maybe on the off chance that they didn't put it in a kit it would be less likely to sell she says Beryl, Beryl says um, <coughs> I'm not there yet <laughs> oh <laughs> no since so she's not there yet she's still behind me but that's okay there is no race to catch up to me on pins because don't forget I also test pins I think I got a lot of videos I got to get done in regards to the pins. Um, Lee Walls just said having multiple pins is like an artist having multiple types of brushes. Yes. Right tool for its intended purpose. That is exactly correct. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to do every part of a painting with a fan brush. I mean, you can. No, like if, it's I, harder. if I was burning the dark background here, this pin, though it could do it, would take me forever. Yeah. More so than if I used the 18L because of how much of the surface touches down at once. So it would be a waste of time and it would build my frustration to use the 18S instead of the 18L in doing a dark background. Now with the... And the 18s just... they Surprisingly enough for me, based on my... <coughs> past pin use. I am surprised that the spear shaders have been um, so the first thing I grab. Can't think of the word. Um, but even this you can tell the difference. But then when you turn the side this pin is actually thinner on this side. Mm -hmm. Which is why if you're, if you're willing to go five pins I will um, recommend getting both of these. Because they do burn slightly different. Um, some of the thinner um, fur marks is from the 18M because it's just thinner. I'm do it real quick. I do need to get the videos done. I plan on doing videos of the different kinds of tips. It's just I've been so busy and I'm getting sick. I'm so far behind. JVN hasn't even been touched in a month. I really, I, I really want to touch him this week. Okay. I know that sounded bad. That's it why did. I said it. Because uh, it's fun. It's fun. Maybe a little less rum. No. All right. So looking at the side, you can see how thin strokes you can get. And this is why I, I mentioned doing... How much longer? I guess a minute. I know, I know. I'm going to switch over to this pen real quick. I'm just showing them the difference between the 18S, which that's what this is, the small. Okay, okay. What's up? A comment. It just happened. Oh, God. It's a little bit thicker. Not much, but a little bit thicker than the M. So that's why I tend to recommend both. Alrighty. 
So do we have any other questions? I have not seen any other questions. Let's pop that off. Let's move this over. Let's go. Wee. What? Oh. The camera. Because now in my face. Mm. On. There oh. we go. So look how much the pine bow has balanced out the dog more. Mm hmm okay. Like a lot more. I like it. Look, the camera's right in my face. There we go. There we go. All righty. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's right. Somewhere. It's over here. Is it? Along with the subscribe button. Uh. Oh, this is the Trakel 9 by 12 I have a link down in the description. I'm with tired, Barrel. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's not sorry. Or he wouldn't have gone to bed at 4 o'clock this morning. It was a mistake. Our clock uh, in our living room is stuck at at 10 till 2. So every hour you thought it was 10 till 2? I have a distorted sense of time at, at times. Um, you did it on purpose. No, I, I did not. There we go. I thought it was late, but not that late. Not 4 a.m. late. <laughs> I went to bed at 1.30. Yeah. Well, you always go to bed early. I mean late. Not always. But in the early time. morning hours. Yes. In the morning. I'm usually in bed before you are. Most of the time, yes. Yeah. Because I get stuck watching something. All right. Not my fault. No, not your fault. All righty, guys. We don't have any more questions. You got to do the thing. I got to do the thing. The thing. Oh, that's right. The thing, the thing. I'm tired. The thing, the thing. Professional. Professional what? Professional. Professional what? <laughs> professional. <laughs> what? Hubcap. <laughs> Ow, neck. I didn't do that. I never touched you your neck. Off? No, I didn't. Oh. All right, don't forget that you are awesome. There, you can do this. You're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. Bye. You still awake? I'm awake. I love you.